Oh, yes. Increases the range of your normal shot attacks. Clairvoyance. God damn, show with longer range attacks would be so fantastic. It's finally time. Need what, Achilles heal? Fires a shot, they have the chance to decrease target's move for three turns. Is that, that's it, right? That's it? So, the vision unfolds. Yes. We have clairvoyance. That's fantastic. So now on top of having a chance to just counter your enemy's turn entirely from happening, uh, he also now has the ability to have to shoot further. <sighs> Increase the crit rate of all allies. I need to max out his tree just for that. He's such a good character. <laughs> it's almost like they knew he was the protagonist and you're stuck with him. Anyway, back to Talkie Talk. Poya, Mana, Zenji, Yoko, Ajito. Ajito's going to die soon, so I better get him finished off if he's not there yet, but I think he's already there. Uh, Rust is the right thing to go to. Nope, everyone's maxed out. It's over. I did it. <laughs> the only people who aren't maxed out are dead forever. So it really doesn't matter for the rest of the game what order I do these in. Unless something drastic happens. Sup, Agito? You know. No one here is a superstar commander or anything, and yet we still keep doing well in battle. Amazing, huh? Clearly there's a great power at work here. Yep, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Love, that's what's going on. No, what's actually going on is like the Undertale issue of like how somebody Somebody who exists outside of your universe is controlling all of your actions, and every time that you fail at something, uh, I just start it over, and then uh, then I do it correctly. Uh, that's why you're succeeding. What the? Love for whom? By love of me, of course. Um, <laughs> wait till you find out, dude. Wow, tough crowd, huh? Not even a smirk or a chortle, nothing. Jeez, guys, the last time I try out my new material on you. That's the last time you're going to do a lot of things. So much for lightening the mood. Oh, I, uh, didn't realize you were making a joke. It just wasn't... Listen, your joke doesn't work because you're going to die soon. That's why. Sorry. Hmm. Is this... a ruin? This current section, I mean. You're right. Looks that way. It's such an incoherent change, as usual. It seems narrow. It'll probably be difficult to work around any line of fire. The last place had a giant hole in it! But magically, yes, you're still correct. <laughs> yeah, things will be tough when using handguns. Will it? Your, hand your guns don't work any differently from every other power and er every other action in this game from line of sight perspective. The guns are irrelevant to the, s to the concept. Frustratingly, because you think you would shoot over gaps, but no. <laughs> the band's really starting to come together as one. We've had no choice but to unite, though honestly, I'd like to trust there's goodness in everyone. Goodness, huh? Is that the secret ingredient? Go figure. <laughs> kind of corny now that I hear it out loud. Ha, yeah, man, for real. Uh, I'm not gonna expect anything from the decor anymore. Is this that silly talk about it not being cute? What do you mean by silly? It's an important factor. Mana, this is the best looking setting we've been in so far. The other, we had a... We had a motionless, shitty concrete city, and we had sewers before. Remember those places? But if the walls suddenly turned into floral patterns after we've climbed this far, wouldn't you be a bit confused? Hmm, perhaps you're right. It can't be helped, so I suppose I can tolerate it once again. Ah. <sighs> you refuse to make sense as a human. <laughs> we were sort of an ad hoc task force just thrown together, and yet we've been managing somehow. Yeah. Our teamwork has really been improving, I'd say. Uh -huh. I wonder if the little game of killing each other is a possible factor. After we're done with the end, I may adopt elements of it. What? Ha! No, I'm saying I want to take his this pl I want to take his place. Oh no, no, I'm not saying I want to take his place. I just mean it's an interesting study in leadership. 
how to be a great emperor. What? Pitting your, your people below you in death games is a good leadership quality? What? <laughs> What are you people talking about? So I keep waiting for it to refer to the discovery that uh, the, the entire reality is somehow wrong. Because there's always the, the big twist in JRPGs. And this is particularly a narrative setup that's, that points at that. I think everybody already has the best stuff. No, you, oh, you don't. Oh, Yoko still needs to get her new gun. Are you the only one left? I wish I could filter by tier or something. Or show, show or sort by damage or something. Alright, so it's just Yoko. That is evidently not using the best of the best. I got the money. Let's put it on. That would explain a bit, although I've been using psychic powers a bit for her, so it doesn't really matter as much, perhaps. Part of me misclicks on gift on a regular basis when I'm going for equipment. Cause I'm like, oh yeah, it's time. To, like, cause I got them gifts, you know. <laughs> I got everybody gifts, but it's it's actually their powers, of course. But I just like I'm like I just bought her something, and then I go to the gift thing. And it's like, oh right, this is her powers, not the thing where I equip the items I just gave them. There we go. One of you is going to be dead soon. Then there will be six people remaining and show. Just enough people to awkwardly have one character sit out every single level. <laughs> And that person will be probably Zenji. <laughs> Sucks to lose Agito, but I've gotten used to him not being in the party because I've just not been using him in the meantime. Which is fitting enough. The Hall of the End. The key to ascent lies under the ruins, but a deadly adversary awaits there. Once locked away. Is it, is it the end? Oh no! Look how spread out we are. Defeat Grande. So the moment Grande goes down, we win. Period. He is somewhere. Oh, there he is. He's that guy. So Grande's in the middle. Hmm. What a weird, messy setup we got here. Okay. So we got four of the special effects enemies and four of the ranged enemies. Are they in pairs? Yeah. Yep. If you look at them, if you were to do a column down the center and then a row across the middle, the the middle people, the people that are closer to the to the vertical middle, those are all ranged characters, and the people that are closer to the to the whatever I don't know how to express this verbally, but the uh, there's four corners and another four corners, and one one of the rectangles is is bordered by the special effect guys, and one of the rectangles is bordered by the ranged dudes, and then Grande's in the middle. And the problem is that there's a gate covering north and south. Our entire party is split up. And if I want to get to Grande, which I should probably do as fast as possible, because you're kind of racing against sanity to try to beat these people as fast as possible and stuff like that, uh, or at least have your characters go insane in the right spots so that they blow up the boss, hopefully. Uh, so I have an issue of the fact that the buttons I need to press are really awkwardly spread out. They're on the top left and the bottom right. They're both guarded by, uh, they're both guarded by ranged guys at least, so at least my characters are less likely to be mind controlled in the process. The closest people to the buttons appear to be... It could be three and six or it could be one and four. I'm not really sure who's closer. A little hard to judge. They're probably kind of equidistant. Whereas two and five are nowhere near the buttons. I, may, I might want to rush the buttons with one and four and then have two and three just uh, gather at their respective doors to charge in at the boss when those people press those. The problem is that only... W I guess I could just use a Gito if I want to. Because he would help. Give him a chance to learn more skills too so that whoever takes his power has more, I guess. Huh. Because Agito and... Nagi being one and four would make it easiest to press the buttons probably within one turn. Letting my team charge in and hopefully defeat the boss before the the eight reinforcements arrive. That's the thing. There's eight of them. That's so many reinforcements.
So I have Nagi on one, Agito on four. I definitely want Toya. Let's make Toya two. Because he's closer to the door, because he has a crappy movement speed. Mana should be on the opposite end, so they should be six. There we go. So, tanky character on top and bottom. I have Sho. So it comes down to Sohiro or Zenji or Yoko. Yoko has psychic powers, and that could be effective against the boss. But Sohiro could heal, and I don't. And this is a new enemy that I've never fought before, and I don't know what he's going to do. So having a heal available seems ideal. Yeah, I think I, I think I am going to use Agito. But that raises a problem of... Ah, uh, no, I'm wrong. Never mind. I was like, I need to upgrade Agito's weapon. And then I remembered I already did upgrade Agito's weapon because I did the upgrades before I knew who the bad guys, pe bad, guy, bad people were. Ah, uh, shit. So you were three. Thankfully, the time-consuming part is the planning and not the setting everyone up. So I can just really quickly put everyone back where they were. So hero and mana. Ma slower melee range type characters are closer to the door. I'm willing to try this plan. Getting faced with a situation where I want to use... Well, well, where I want to use uh, Agito is just highlighting how much I'm bummed out he's going to be taken out, though. I wonder how long the plan... Uh, the end plans to stall for time. It'd be a shame if he eludes us. Mm -hmm. Now that we've come this far, we have to save the world properly. If we don't, I don't think I'd ever be able to face everyone that we lost. Let's go. Well, they're dead, so, you know... <laughs> takes care of itself. Time to go, everyone. We'll survive this together. Commencing assault. Wow, really? This is okay. This takes the cake for levels. Sorry, by the way, I was like trying to like clear my throat. I'm like drinking water. I'm like, oh my god, my voice. Stop. This takes the cake for tiny ass level. Wait, is that my movement range? Oh. The circle around my character is probably the movement range. Yeah, look how big it is for Nagi versus other people. Interesting. I wish... I kind of wish they would show me my movement range when I'm positioning the characters. That'd be useful, too. That's a problem, though. The problem is that, so, one, this, this level's way smaller than I thought, so it's like we're like within one turn of the things I have to go to, but I am agonizingly that close to getting where I need to go. Are you kidding me? I can't tell. I mean, Sho could encourage him to get back to it, but then Sho will be kind of stuck in the open and then have to run back the long way. Or should I just try to reboot it? Ah. The problem is, if I did, if I rebooted the map and I switched Agito with Show with, uh, and Agito was able to make it from Show's position, that would still lead to a problem where Show is stuck in the middle and spending an extra turn getting back anyway. As it stands right now, Agito is likely going to need help from Show to get to the button. Whereas Nagi should have no trouble. God, this is a tiny level. I was so caught off guard when I saw that I was like standing right next to the switch in the first turn. Oh no. Please tell me a floating character still presses a button. Because I didn't really think about that just now and I'm very bothered by this prospect. Not quite. But, she, but there's a decent chance that she'll shoot me next turn and miss. Okay, so that door is open. Then let's begin. 
That's the one here. So Agito opens the other button. Interesting. That kind of gives me the option, if I want to, to have Nagi go charging for the other side once Agito presses the button. Let's go. Let's get this show on the road. Because, yeah. That's convenient. You open the door by the other button, which makes it so that you can, you can, it increases the chance that you can take the person who pressed that button and have them take off and go inside the boss fight too, like a turn later. Only abandoning one person to be outside. So close. I need that button pressed so at least somebody can go through. Let's see, let's go for a high damage skill. How long range is this? Teleports you and nearby allies to a target area. It teleports us to... an enemy? What does this do? I'm just gonna experiment with it because I have no idea what the skill does. It just teleports you to an- so it teleports you to a target enemy, not a target area. That's like a straight up mistranslation or mis- or maybe it was just wrong in its original language too. But like it straight up lies to you about what the skill does. It says teleport you and nearby allies to a target area. But then it forces you to target an enemy. This is my chance. That's not what that means. It's just not what that means. If I could target- if I could teleport to a target area, I teleport right to there. And fort yeah. I think what feels weird is that I do I I'm this late in the game and this is a teleporter man, and I still don't have a skill that just lets me target a location and teleport to it. I don't I don't expect infinite range, but you know any teleport. I guess they just thought it was built into the character's movement, and that's the only version you're gonna get. Because even this teleports you to an enemy, which is awkward, and it teleports me in front of the enemy, which is terrible. Why would I want to do that? Randomized damage, cruel step, continually teleport for high damage, leads to an assist. There. This is gonna hurt. Ah. Owie. Anyway, button pressed. Hmm. He looks like a mole. Here I go. Not, I'm not the only one noticing that, right? He looks like a cross between a mole and, like, Nemesis. It's got the weird lanky claw arms things that I remember from, uh... Uh... Resident Evil. I haven't even played, but I've seen Nemesis's character design. Ooh, no counterattack, so he's melee only. Okay, so if I do a ranged attack, I'm in the clear. That's my strongest one, but I can't reach it. Torpedo Fist is close. I guess just do... A Torpedo Fist is really high up there on damage. Okay. I'll try to position my team around her while probably deferring to her. So that she can be... Let's see. You're not going to be able to get in range either, though. Is he a mech? He's probably a mech. I can't reach him. Oh, you meanie. Okay. Yeah. All right. Could do this one. That one is lowers target's agility and move for three turns. It's not an attack. Every attack using nearby materials. Metals. Extra long range shot. If nothing else works, I have that option. Sure. That might trigger an assist, I'm not really sure. So just in case, let's have Sohiro go first. He might be able to get into assist range while also... There we go, you're in assist range. So you can defer to her. So 
I'm now going to move her behind to attack. And then Sohiro will do an assist. And then I'll move in Toya, who might trigger two more assists, if I'm lucky. <laughs> Core material fire? Barrage. Be the perfect time to make her go crazy, but that's probably not going to happen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Then let's begin. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that does do an assist. And you can't counter me because you're melee. Ooh, a cr yeah. Cr so crits just ignore resistance completely. And thankfully, our doctor has a very high crit chance, so he gets he does surprising amounts of damage on a regular basis. I'm hoping the enemies won't be able to reach us. This 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 is probably their only turn to even try. Because the hero's going to heal up the party, so unless they do major damage, they won't be able to do much to us. God damn, that was very nice. Didn't get that dodge I was hoping for. Would, was that a non-lethal blow? Did he have one hit point? He's got to have like one hit point left. Oof. Oh no, she's stunned. She's not going to be doing anything. Here. Ouchie. Alright, the music's just gone. Weird. Oh, by the way, I was worrying- I was concerned about the materia. Ever since I first saw it, I was like, what is that? Because it's- it's much like the columnar jointing stuff, it's one of those real- it's one of those really wacky looking mineral looking designs that is real. Like, the materia that people turn into in this game is a real rock that exists in real life, even though it looks like a wacky fantasy thing. And it's- I, I'm not entirely certain what they based it on, but my the, my guess that I'm at least satisfied with being close enough on is bismuth. I think it's bismuth. Hey, you can't make it. So maybe you stay here, because you two are together and have the power of teamwork. So I'm wondering if I should have one of you go in. Sho can't reach the fight in one turn, but Agito can. Man, I'm beat. First of all, can Agito just go through the wall? No. Not an option. If Agito goes here... That's interesting. First of all, can he, like, self-buff? Lower sanity cost to zero, but raises GP cost for three turns. That's interesting, too. That still targets an enemy, unfortunately. I don't think I just have- I think I just don't have a reason to do these things. Let's see. I think I want to wait. I'm gonna unpress the button. And I try to have show help get Agito back to the fight. This is my chance. Oh, sure. Just so somebody can help. Oh yeah, he'll be able to reach. There we go. I want to use an attack that can't be countered though, because otherwise he'll die. I guess all I have to do is just not stand directly on top of him, and I'm safe already. What's your highest damage attack? There's Cruel Step. That'll trigger assists, but no counterattack. This one's a killer. Brace yourself. This might be it. Oh no, no crit. The crit's kind of necessary for that to work. Okay, so now it's to, down to Toya. Toya can trigger some counter- some assists again. I might not need to heal the party. I might be able to get through with this just by doing some nasty attacks. Chance to stun mech units. That's gotta be a mech. He has a floating goddamn torso. It's not attached to himself. But this would maybe trigger an assist? No. Chance to stun all enemies on the map. Just fuck all y'all! 
This lowers mo move and agility, which is kind of unnecessary. Also, the only assist I'm triggering is him. So I had him go out of melee range so he wouldn't get counterattacked. So it mostly boils down to whether or not I think it's going to be useful from his perspective. Let's see. From here, I can do a back attack. Without mana, there's only one... Well, there's only one assist, unfortunately. On my way. And despite being a back attack, they're just not hurting him. That's a problem for me. Ah, we're down to just Nagi. Let's see, Toya's the healthiest, so only the people over there need to heal. So thankfully, I'm fine there. Let's not stand right next to them. In fact, I don't need to stand anywhere near them because I, I just need the heal to be in range of both of them. There we go. I'm trying to spread out so that my party doesn't get AoE attacked or something. I'm not going to be able to beat him this turn. Oh, you didn't have to. Joke's on you. They're going to get him murdered soon. Uh, so you're trapped here. You can fly all the way over here, but the door is... What? The door didn't close? Um... I'm... Okay. Whoops. I'm just used to the idea of, of a door's closing when you get off their pressure plates. Because that's how stuff tends to work. Let's see. There's too many enemies, so the best thing I can do is just do raise agility. Well, let's get there on foot. Let's get there normally first. If nothing else, I'll distract them because they're sneaking up behind my allies. So that this might help. We'll raise agility. That makes her more likely to dodge the incoming attacks. But God, like a 50% hit chance. Oh, that was, that was enough. Well, at least he doesn't move this turn. Ooh, they're getting close. Ah. The beautiful sound of their turn uncer unceremoniously ending with no particular indication of what they did. Because they didn't do anything. They couldn't reach. What? He just stomps. There's so many enemies that I'm not interested in fighting in this, in this level. I'm like, peace out! Awesome. Good. Premonition's overpowered as shit. <laughs> we should be able to pretty easily beat the boss this turn. He's almost defeated already, and I think even Sho might be able to get into the arena, at least in range to defer somebody else to have another turn, if nothing else. He might be able to reach the boss, though? Yep. A chance to instantly kill. Or Searing Blast. Sup? Now. Oh, the stun's over. Easy, right? How great would it be to instantly, to instant kill the final boss? Like, oh, yeah, death triggered. He didn't have death immunity. Funny how that works out. You seem to be enjoying yourself. The end. It's nice, isn't it? The way mortal peril can bring out the bonds of friendship. It's also ironic I might die of laughter. I doubt you'll ever come to understand it. As per usual, the implication, he's, he's, he's implicating the irony because he knows something about what's going on, as far as I can tell. Also, I just got what they were going for with Sho's flamboyant uh, alternate costume that I'm wearing. It's based on the end. He's a palette swap of the end. He's The end is red and black and Sho is white and blue, but with the same... I mean, he's already white and blue anyway with this costume you're seeing right now in the cutscenes, but 
his uh, custom costume I've been r running around with lately because I just find it amusing is all is blatantly a palette swap of the, of the actual villain, and that's what they were going for. Did not pick up on that, mainly because you barely see this guy in this game, which is weird. Someone who seeks the world's destruction will never know the warm bonds of camaraderie. You're absolutely correct. It's a warmth I just have no experience with. All I know is the cold bitterness of men and women who sacrifice others in order to survive. What in the world do you want? Why are you doing this? What exactly is your goal? One half of what I desire has already been fulfilled. Your suffering is oh so gratifying. What? Oh, did you forget what happened ten years ago? Back when you were an innocent little child? Have you forgotten what you did, hiding behind that air of innocence? Ten years ago? What are you talking about? <laughs> Just as I thought. You don't remember any of it. If you wish to know more, then keep climbing. We can talk in person. But if you wish to proceed, then you will need to pay the price. So you're having us make more sacrifices? Don't waste your breath pretending to be angry. Admit it, you've grown accustomed to this process, haven't you? Culling others. Yes, quite familiar with the process. Ruining others' futures just so you can have a future. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Gone again, huh? Pay the price. I'm well aware of that. Regardless, I've made my choice. I'll keep moving forward. Okay, so he's blatantly done this entire tower and everything about it for the specific purpose of Revenge Against Show, apparently. That makes- they clearly have a history ten years ago, and clearly, uh, the end is the person that's future was ruined so that Show could get ahead or whatever. 60,000 experience and a vision point, and two gift XP, damn. Not even counting what you get from levels. Oh, Nagi, I'm so sorry. Except, it doesn't really matter because <laughs> you're, uh, like, top dog in the entire damn camp. Fortunately, I can't ever sabotage the hero, but yeah, Show gets all the points. And he's the most irrelevant to the process. Really low profit game, but I got an S rank because I beat the level in three turns, which I don't, don't think they expected me to do. I think they expected me to fight all those dudes. But hey, you don't get experience from killing dudes. It's an important thing to remember. You're, wow, that's a lot of points. That's a lot of points to spend. Yeah, you don't get any experience for killing dudes in this game, so you're best off just bulldozing your way through and to the, the goal if there is one that's just kill with the one dude. Is this happening? This isn't good. We cannot stop him. There may be a traitor in this group. Why is it just May? Is it, oh, right. Because it's based on having all the voices show up, right? What do you think about Agito? We keep saying the same thing now. Yes, it's Agito. Uh -huh. The same person asking the same question. That's just weird. Shouldn't, shouldn't they cycle through the party more? <laughs> Whoa, hey, show, show, over here, show. It's time to play truth or dare, and I choose truth. Okay, so I think the traitor's Toya. Uh, I don't know. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. That's not a real response. You aren't holding out on me, are you? Yeah, we're all going to kill you. Sorry. But you should know that, kind of? Because you're the traitor? Traitor man? Well, I appear to be safe. Let's see here. I have to do a lot of leveling right now. Just a quick review to make sure that everything matches up as always. Yep, two voices for those two people. It counted as being only... Yeah, Yoko wasn't in the party and that's why it said that the traitor might be in the party. Because not all, not all three voices were there. Still don't understand. I hope they explain the three voices thing at some point. Just because it doesn't have an existing explanation, I don't think. I just don't know what it means. 
What are the voices that aren't the actual traitor? What? Why are they? Why? Why do the false positives happen exactly? Raises accuracy and dodge to one hundred percent for one. God damn, bro. That's even more powerful than the other skill where you, where you just dodge your next skill, next next attack. Although the the accuracy only really helps with counters though and assists, I guess. Because uh, otherwise you, yeah. What even ha what even happens when you level that skill up? You can level it up. Does it get? It must get cheaper, right? Or maybe it lasts more turns. Oh yeah. Do I start down the Electro Spark skill, or do I level up other existing skills? I'm gonna say level up the existing skills. I want you to be a tank. Gamma Shield. There you go. Maxed up Vitality bonus. Then raise the, the power of his Magnet skills. Might do the same thing for you. I can. Do, you have Strength and Fit. That's amazing. That's such a great bonus to have. It means that all of her attacks are stronger and she's hard to kill in the same in the same passive upgrade and it goes up 10 times. She's she seems like she's wildly overpowered. <laughs> and she and she self resurrects. Let's raise move again. I wish I'd done that sooner frankly. Maximize her movement speed because that's a great bonus to have. Raises target move. Let's see. I have zero gravity and G force. I could do, go down Gravitron or I could keep leveling up what I already have. Quantum blade. The level 2 Gravity Mastery to get Quantum Blade uses gravity to suppress an enemy and per performs a melee attack that cannot miss. New skill. The hero. All right, we have we have the cheapest possible heals now, and now they're and now the heals are going to be even more powerful. There we go. King Healer. Denji exists still, just in case you forgot. Full Helix. Raises all allies' strength, vitality, and side for three turns. That's pretty... That's pretty neat. <laughs> the Mind Hacker. But she has dementia. <laughs> she has the skill dementia. She does not literally have dementia. Uh, I give her Memory Wipe next. One more point into Psychic Assault. The skill's gonna get expensive really fast when I when I keep upgrading it, just to get to these other skills. Agito has three points to spend. God damn! All right, last chance to level you up, probably. We have group shift, warp snare, teleports the target to, to you and attacks. I need cruel step first, and then group shift rank two, warp snare. That's very- that could be very effective in specific situations, because you can make the enemy come to you, which is good if you're with your allies, and then everyone gets to just assist attack and obliterate that guy where that was previously not in a good position, especially if your characters have already moved. When attacked, you have a chance to swap positions with another enemy and dodge the- that's amazing. That's really cool. It's really deep down this tree, though. Teleports all allies in the map to you. Also very effective. I wish you weren't gonna be dead soon, so I could level that up to that point. But if I want to get that, I need one, one point to get the level 3 gate open, then two points to get the level 2 gate open, and then one point to buy it. So I need four more levels to get summon allies, which is... I guess I could have gotten that if... I could have gotten it sooner if I didn't just buy Warp Snare. Yeah, because I could have put... I would have been halfway there if I didn't just do what I did. Oh well. That's, when he dies and somebody else gets the power, like, imagine the level I just did, but with the ability to summon everyone to me when I get to the boss. Like, that's pretty effective. That's a neat, that's a neat skill. It's just so far down this damn tree. Oh, well. I could, I could, uh, change the efficiency of my path in a number of ways to get there. In particular, if I didn't finish this tree up, I could have focused on this bottom part of the tree instead. And gotten and gone there because only these top three, these the only these three skills require you to use both branches at once. Oh well, would have been nice, but who knows if the upcoming levels will even uh, give me situations that specifically benefit using it. Nagi and Sohiro again. Well, 
I don't know how everyone is adjusting to combat, but they're getting talented with their gifts, and teamwork is improving. You're right. Yeah, we made it this far somehow. <laughs> I wonder what'll happen to the skills we've acquired here, once we get our memories back. Huh? What'll happen to them? There are documented cases where patients regain their memory, but lose any recollection of events since their memory loss. What? Our situation is m more of a partial memory loss, though, so I'm not sure... I'm sure nothing so drastic will happen. Still amusing to consider. Please don't add even more stress to our situation. Hmm. Everyone's rather unique, but our teamwork is shaping up well. I honestly didn't expect it to go so smoothly. Yeah, yeah I'm sure everyone will be delighted that they have your approval. That'd be nice, but it's only a soldier's mutterings. Don't think too highly of me. To tell the truth, I thought this mission was a failure when I botched my surprise attack. You mean when you shot at the end, huh? However, it looks like we'll be able to ma we'll be able to manage. I want to continue to rely on you at this plate at this pace. Likewise, that surprise attack is the entire reason I was like, up. Oh, she wins all the bonus points at the beginning of this game. I don't know any of these characters yet, but she did the smart thing of immediately shooting the dude. Didn't work, but. No one else was doing it. I'm like, you guys have guns. You're here to kill this guy who's ending the world or whatever. Shoot him immediately, please. You weird ass anime characters that don't shoot guys immediately. Then Nagi surprised me by shooting him immediately. I'm like, oh, all right. Go, go, blonde Jean Grey. 